Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right, man, I want to continue to talk about, well, basically what happened with Canelo. Now, it appears that this thing with Canelo is like a form of being stripped of the title. Look, if you're going to strip him, strip him. Don't say franchise because that comes across as weak and it still comes across as favoritism. If you're going to strip him of the title, strip him of the title. But now, since Jamal Chalo has been elevated to the regular champ, let's see how bad Triple G wants a belt and how bad he wants a third fight with Canelo. Now, remember, Canelo said, go get a belt and then I'll fight you. So Canelo could kill two birds with one stone. He basically could have Jamal Chalo do his dirty work which he ain't going to do, or vice versa, which is send Triple G to fight Jamal Chalo in a fight that I don't think Triple G would win. I think Jamal Chalo, I'm just going to be completely honest with you, I think Jamal Chalo beats the hell out of Triple D. I think he beats the hell out of him. I think he swarms him. I think he overwhelms Triple G with activity and punches, and I just think that he either stops Triple G or he just pounces on Triple G for 12 rounds which I know a lot of Triple G fans, that would be unbearable, and you know which brand of Triple G fans I'm talking about. I think it would be unbearable for them to see him get, you know, mangled by a guy like Jamal Chalo. But Triple G has a path to Canelo. All he has to do is sign a contract and fight Jamal Chalo, and if he wins, he should be guaranteed a third fight with Canelo. And then basically... Canelo doesn't have to fight Jamal Chalo. At the same time, whether people like it or not, both Canelo and Triple G are being exposed at the same time for avoiding Jamal Chalo. People going to have to accept the fact. And here's the thing. Why do you got to come on my channel calling me out my name and stuff? Now, if I do that kind of stuff, then you're going to be saying I'm this and I'm that. Look, if you don't agree with me, just say, why don't you agree? What's up with the go back to Africa stuff? You must didn't hear me on the Cali Enigmas, you know, uh, live stream yesterday when I said that from this day forward, you disrespect me, I'm going to disrespect you. But nevertheless, Triple G is on the spot right now. Now, let's see if the media is going to demand that Triple G fight Jamal Chalo. Let's see if they're going to call for a Jamal Chalo Triple G fight. Let's see if Triple G going to call for a Jamal Chalo fight. Now, I know you guys heard about this uh, this bartender that Triple G is trying to fight. Uh, I mean, this is just nothing out of the ordinary for Triple G for him to just fight these type of dudes. I mean, it's just to the point to where it just get it get pathetic and like i said before i talked about this on the cali enigmas live stream it is never no pressure for him to step up in competition but yet with us they want us to fight everybody and their mama literally you know well you beat this dude well you need to go fight this dude you need to step up you need to step up then when you beat these guys oh man well who have you beat you know what I'm saying? It's just it's, a lot of this this stuff is just really fake, man. And it, I, I think it's just shameful what we have in boxing. But Canelo fans going to have to accept the fact that Canelo is ducking Chalo. It doesn't matter whether you believe Canelo can beat him or not. The fact is, he doesn't want to fight him. And I'll get to that in the next video. But anyway, you know, the clock is ticking, Triple G. Tick tock, tick tock, you on the clock now. Jamal Chalo got a belt. You got a belt. You got a chance to get a belt, Triple G. What you gonna do, man? What you gonna do? This is your boy Town Biz. I got to get out of here. I'm on to the next video. I'm out.